Hi, Dan Com and Jim Sullivan from Humboldt Storage and Moving here with you today. Jim and I just got done playing a great game of Wii in our relaxation room. You know, Jim, the Wii's relaxing. It's so much fun. But uh, moving really isn't that much fun and is not relaxing. You know, I see a lot of people out there and they're on the fence on whether to move themselves or to use a moving company. Can you talk to the folks a little bit about the benefits of using a professional moving company? Sure. I mean, I think that uh, you know, there's a lot that goes into it. First off, time-wise, you know, if you're going to deal with a professional mover, you, you're going to want to do your research and you're going to spend some time up front and picking the right company to work with. On the do-it-yourself side, your work really never stops. You know, you have to worry about finding the truck or finding the container you're going to use. Then you have to worry about the labor, finding friends, family, or maybe hiring people to help actually move the furniture. Mm. And then you have to worry about the fact that what happens when one of your friends or family members drops your awesome TV down a flight of stairs? Who are you going to blame? Right. You know, those, those are some of the quick things that come to mind. And then somebody potentially has to drive the truck, if there's a truck involved, has to drive the truck to destination. That can be stressful in itself when you're not used to uh, driving a big truck. You know, you mentioned that driving the truck, and that is one of the toughest things when you're doing it yourself. Um, you know, people aren't comfortable driving big vehicles like that. But now I've heard moving companies do offer sort of do-it-yourself options where you don't have to drive a truck. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. I, those will be uh, containers, and actually we, we offer that service here, um, and we certainly uh, and, and would encourage those folks and work with those folks that really want to be involved. Again, they want to have the physical labor and do that, and they've got the people both at their new home and the old home to help them. I think that's really the key. Wow. So there are a lot of things to consider when you're trying to choose whether to move yourself or to actually use a professional mover. And it sounds like there are a lot of benefits to going with the uh, professional mover. Yeah, I, I think so. But, you know, it's obviously it's not for everybody. So it's a, it's a kind of an individual decision along the way. Great. Thanks a lot for your time.